Hi everyone, it's Jack back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Upstart. Really interesting company, recent IPO, had a massive run up at one point it was up over a thousand percent this year. It's now pulled back but it's still roughly tripled year to date, very volatile, big, big drop recently so I'm going to try and analyse it today. So what is Upstart? Upstart is an AI lending platform that partners with banks to improve access to affordable credit. It's based on fundamental thesis that AI is better at determining risk than a human and it's trying to disrupt credit scores, it's trying to disrupt FICO. Um, it basically thinks that is the three digit number enough to make decisions. It's looking at building a more comprehensive view and the more 360 degree view of people's finances, giving people who wouldn't ordinarily have access to credit access to credit. And it claims to be able to triple lo loan rates for banks without increasing default rates, which is a really impressive value proposition. 67% um, of all Upstart's loans are fully automated and improved pretty much instantly. And in, that was in the, as of the most recent quarter. This is an incredible value proposition to banks, incredible streamlining, wild default rates remain so low. Percentage has moved around a little bit, but most this year it's been around 70%, which in my opinion is really strong. Of course, with automation and continual improvement, in theory should get better over time. So they, these rates will increase further. In quarter three 2017, they're around 35%. This is roughly doubled to now 70%, which is really, really strong improvement in my opinion. So taking a look at the most recent earnings report, absolutely extraordinary growth this past year. 250% top line growth in the most recent quarter, 201% net income growth, really, really strong. Uh, you can see on the left-hand side, incredible revenue results this year. Actually, quarter two of interest was up over 1,000% year over year. Uh, so you can see, it's just absolutely crazy numbers. You can see why this stock has run up so much this year. Already profitable, which is something I love to see in companies that are this early stage. You know, it's roughly 200 million revenue, growing extremely fast, but it d can maintain profitability with expanded margins, even this relatively early stage where you'd expect it to be pouring money into sales and marketing. Really love to see it. Just a bit of a deeper dive into those numbers from the most recent quarter. All excellent, like multi triple digit growth across the board, multi hundred percent in some cases. Quarter four predictions are 255 to 265 million. So that's a further 15 percent ish quarter over quarter. Again, absolutely incredible. This company's really kicking kicking into high gear, and shows that this is a valuable product for banks because they keep going back and they're expanding without too much margin compression. So the margin is being is being compressed a little bit because they're having to spend a bit more on sales and marketing. But I still think that's a really healthy margin, 46 percent contribution margin. So their operating expenses are going up a little bit. Um, again, not overly concerned. They've gone up quite a lot from last year, but the revenue is going absolutely gangbusters recently. So this is not something to be overly concerned about, in my opinion. Still profitable in a stage where we're not really expected to be. So I just want to take you through the burr and bull case as I see it. Uh, they're trying to disrupt FICO, which is definitely an industry that's in need of disruption, perhaps for both sides. Seemingly a more effective system in most cases from upstart and better for both consumers because they get better, easier access to loans and more people get access to loans. And banks, so as long as default rates stay low, more loans is better for the banks, certainly. Growing very fast, multi-hundred percent year-over-year growth. Huge total but addressable market. They recently made an acquisition of Prodigy, which I barely even mentioned, uh, to move into a $600 billion auto loan origination market. This is absolutely huge. In a similar way to Lemonade, this is could really cause the business to blow up if they could get some like, some like market share. Really strong balance sheet, so they have a nice runway for safe growth and they can deploy cash as necessary, again, with like that Prodigy acquisition. And they're already profitable, which is only going to help that balance sheet. I love to see that in early stage companies. There's going to be no need to overly dilute shares or anything like that. So talking about the Burr case now, uh, one customer, Cross River Bank, is greater than 50% of revenue. I think it's around 50% of the most recent quarter. This is a bit worrying, a lot of bit of customer concentration, and most of the tra traffic is from Credit Karma, again, owned by Intuit. Both of these are a concentration risk. They're overly reliant on big customers or big traffic sources, and this inherently in inherently increases risk. An example would be uh, when Twilio lost Uber as a customer, that took a big hit to the stock because to, that was a massive percentage of Twilio's revenue. Of course, Twilio recovered and is a fantastic business, but this is definitely a risk in the in the short to medium term definitely from the stock perspective and what happens to upstart when default rates rise in loan businesses as they sometimes do in times of in dire financial straits how does upstart manage when why the wider industry default rates are higher can upstart remain with default rates as low as they are time will tell but i'm uh, err on the side of caution with that one i'm really not sure 
So in summary, I really think this is a this is a strong a strong business, just shy of an eleven billion dollar market cap now. Of course, there's an incredible runway to grow with the size of this total addressable market. It's roughly tripled since their IPO, but it's down sixty six percent from its yearly highs. Uh, price to sales is now around 20, which is a bit more reasonable after the stock blew up on a crazy earnings report. It was trading above 40. Um, constant rate interest is definitely a reasonable concern and something I'm concerned about and is part of the reason I've, I've not invested in Upstart for the time being. Uh, I really need to see how this plays out. If they can sort this out, it could be an absolutely incredible returns from here. If they can di- diversify and show a wider array of customers that are really taking on a good net dollar retention rate. But we'll have to see. Um, in summary though incredible business that I think is doing incredible things and I would like to own in the future but again none of this is personal financial advice and you should do your own research thanks please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content